when you get yourself home, take a nice bowl, a fairly big bowl now to hold a rabbit, get a good wean of shakes of table salt into it, and a good slosh of white wine vinegar. Then add some cool tap water and uh, make sure the whole mixture is well solidified up into the water to make like a, a brine mixture. Then take your rabbit out of the plastic bag. And give it a real good wash under some lukewarm water. Make sure you get all the blood, grass and hair off of it and uh, you're, that you're left with a nice clean piece of meat. When you're finished, shake off a bit of the water. Then take your brine solution and set your rabbit into it. Then cover it up and put it into the fridge um, overnight or about 24 hours or so. Then when you're ready to cook it, take it out of the fridge and uncover it. The solution helps take that gamey taste of rabbit off of it, plus it helps tenderise the meat nicely. Wash it down some nice cold tap water to get the excess uh, salt and vinegar off of it. And again, shake as much water as you can off of it. Now I'm going to joint it up for the pan, it'll make it easier to uh, cook. So I take the back legs off by cutting the meat around the bone and then giving it a bit of a twist and it should separate cleanly. Again there's no point trying to cut through bone, you'll only ruin the edge in your knife. Now I'm going to take the uh, two sirloins off the back and cutting down the back following the uh, pelvis and then using the point of my knife I'm cutting the meat just beside the backbone. And then follow the bone down with the point of the knife cutting the meat away from it. This is about fiddly and time consuming, but you end up with two nice pieces of meat and no bone to worry about. There's one, and again just follow the backbone with the point of the knife. A good sharp kitchen knife's very handy here, but do watch your fingers.
and there's our second piece. Now you want to brown them off in a pan with some um, oh, extra good. virgin olive oil in it so you get a bit of colour in the meat. Then take them out of the pan and put them onto a piece of uh, tin foil. I'm going to do this in two portions. Then I like to uh, trickle a wee bit of extra virgin oil over them again, help keep them moist. And then a nice big dollop of uh, sweet mango chutney. But of course, you can use uh, whatever sort of uh, relish or chutney you want to, uh, you like yourself. Then gently wrap the uh, tin foil around them. Making sure you have them well sealed. You should cook inside their own juices all the way through. Now you have both of them wrapped up, put them in an oven at uh, about 180 degrees Celsius for about 10-15 minutes. But do check on them often. Depends how long you've uh, cooked them in the pan beforehand. But they should look something like that. Now I've uh, cooked up some microwavable uh, rice, it's a wee bit of a cheat really, but uh, it was quick and handy for what I wanted to do. Oh and don't forget the juices out of the uh, tin foil. Looks quite good and it tasted very good as well, I have to say it was the best rabbit I've ate. And uh, don't forget to do the dishes once you're finished boys, you have to keep the peace if you know what I mean. <laughs>